The question 20 is to calculate the measure of angles for which the angles are supplementary or complementary. Here, let's read the question. Find the measure of two supplementary angles if the difference between the measure of two angles is 35 degrees. Now, they have not told us anything about the two angles, I mean the measure of two angles, but they have just told supplementary and their differences. Now, if they are supplementary, supplementing, it's more than 90, it's 180 degree. What, what is 180? When you add these two angles, now if I take that as x1 plus x2, you will have 180 degrees. Now, just imagine, if you want to find them in terms of a single term, I will consider this x1 to be just x. Okay? Now, let me write this only as x. What is x2? I need to take this to the other side. x2 will be equal to 180 minus x, isn't it? So I can write x plus 180 minus x is equal to 180 degrees. And yes, this cancels out and it is balanced. So I can write the measure of first angle. You can write it as sentence. First angle as x. And now you can consider this to be the larger or the smaller. Now, if you consider this to be smaller in your calculation, you don't have to multiply the minus sign. I'll consider this to be smaller angle. And second angle will be x2, that is 180 minus x. This, let it be as larger angle. We are assuming this. Why do we want to know larger, smaller? Because here they have told the difference between the me measures of the two angles. That means when you subtract the larger minus the smaller, you must get 35 degrees, right? So when I subtract the larger minus smaller, that is 35 degrees, that, what is the larger angle? It is 180 minus x minus, smaller angle is x, is equal to 35 and here it will become 180 minus 2x is equal to 35. Take 180 to the other side, it will be negative 2x is equal to minus, 180 to the other side is minus 35 minus 180 would be 145. Now divide both the sides by 2, you're going to get the answer. x is equal to, by minus 2, sorry, divide by minus 2, by minus 2 x will be 75 minus 2.5 it's 72.5 degrees then we can find the large angle this is the small angle now if you're thinking why should i take this as smaller itself can i take this as larger yes you can take this as larger this as smaller i'll show you now the same thing it'll just be x minus 180 minus x that is equal to 35 it will definitely work, no problem at all. Now, here you need to multiply the minus sign inside. Why I avoid this is generally students tend to do the mistake of not multiplying the minus sign to the second term. You might forget to multiply to both the terms. If you do not forget it, then it's fine to do any method. But if you're forgetting it, then always take the single term as smaller, the larger let it have both the terms. Here, if you see now, will be minus 180 plus x is equal to 35. Now we will have x plus x that is 2x equals this 180 to the other side will be 35 plus 180 and we will have 2x is equal to 215. Now divide both the sides by 2 you will have 100, 107.5. So it will be 107.5. This will be the now, large angle, because we assume this to be larger, and yes, x is larger. It You will get both the angles. But now, I've just done to show you it doesn't matter. You can subtract any angle and other angle, and you must equate it, but you must do it properly. So, I hope this part is clear. You can use anything. But always try to take x as smaller and use the first method, which I did, because you will not have the issue of multiplying the negative sign inside the terms. So now if you have done so much, it's not over. You need to find the other angle, right? So how you would do that is, you found out x, just substitute over here. 
So this is done. We just tested that. Now here you have 180 minus x. That's it. That's the second angle, right? The larger angle, second angle. So all you need to do is you found x. So you just do 180 minus 72.5. And that will be 100 and 107.5. That is the answers. So the answers are 72.5 and 107.5. So that's it. So here the same method is tool, I think. So yeah, even over here, they're considered 180 minus x as the larger and x as the smaller. You can interchange it. I've already showed it. You will get the same answers, correct answers. Now, what about this one? Angle E and angle F are complementary. The measure of E is 54 degrees more than the measure of F. Now, we know that they both are complementary. So when you sum them up, when you sum angle E plus angle F, you must get 90 degrees. Complementary means 90. Supplementary is 180. The measure of E is 54 degrees more than the measure of F. So what you can do is let's consider X to be say uh, angle F okay angle F is X so what is angle E 54 more than F right so it will be X plus 54 that's it now you can just substitute E is X plus 54 degrees plus F that should be 90 degrees here we will have 2 X plus 54 is equal to 90 take this to the other side it will be 90 minus 54 and in the left side, we have 2x. Now, at the right side, we will just solve 90 minus 54. That is 30 plus 6. It's 36. Here we have 2x. So divide both the sides by 2. You will have x is equal to 18. You can just use the calculators for this. And then once you have found x as 18, that is angle F, what is angle E? So it is 18 plus F. So angle E will be equal to... 54, 64, 72. That's the answer. 72 degrees and 18 degrees. So there you go. These are the answers. It's very simple. Just read the question and then you'll understand. Now, we are, again, it's about supplementary. They have told one angle is less than the other. Just like what we have done a while ago, consider the two angles. Now, here one is x and one more is x minus 76. When you add them up, it should be 180. And you can easily solve them up. Once you find x, find the other angle. Don't forget to find the other angle because both the angles needs to be solved. Once you know x is 128, minus 76 will be the other angle. Please do these by yourselves. Complementary means 90 degree. Here it's just like what we did a while ago. You can see all the methods are shown here. Now here, the fifth question, this is interesting because they have told the measure of a supplement of an angle is three times the measure of the angle. Now imagine the smaller angle is considered to be x. Then what is the other angle? It will be 3x. So they are supplementary, right? They have told it supplement. So when you add them up, it should be 180 degrees. So it is 4x is equal to 180 degrees. So here it will be 40, 45, 45. 45, 4 times is 180 and x. So x is 45. What about this? Multiply 45 times 3, you will have 135 degrees. So 135 degree and 45 degree are the measures. So this is it. So they have clearly mentioned over here that x be the measure of small angle and 3x is supplement. Add them up, you must get the answer. Now let's do this one as well. The bascule bridge. A bascule bridge is basically a bridge which open up, opens up, you know. Whenever a ship or a big uh, naval vessel is coming in, this bridge can open up. They're called bascule bridge. Shown is opening from its horizontal position. That means it was flat. It's opening up now to its fully vertical position. Okay, it'll open up like this, fully vertical, both the sides. It'll be complete vertical. So far, the bridge has lifted 35 degrees. So this is 35 degrees as of now. In 21 seconds, at this rate, how much longer will it take for the bridge to reach its vertical position? It's about 90 degrees, right? Vertical position. So it's like a rate problem. You know, we need to find the seconds. How, many, uh, how much time still is remaining? 
So let's just write this. We know for 35 seconds, it has take uh, 35 degrees, it has taken 21 seconds, right? So for 90 degrees, how many seconds will it take? Just cross multiply here. The x goes to the other side, will equal to 21 times 90 by 35. Just put it in the calculator now. So I've just written 20 times 90 by 35, so it'll take 54 seconds. So x is 54 seconds to open up 90 degrees. But here, if you look at the question, they have clearly told how much longer will it take to reach its vertical upright position, right? So we need to subtract 54 minus 21 because 21 seconds is already done. So 21 minus 54 will be 33 seconds it will take to reach upright position, the vertical position. If you want to directly find 33, that is also possible. Here you should just uh, do like this, 35 degrees, right? So 90 minus 35 degrees is what amount of degrees remaining? It will be 55 degrees. So what you need to write is over here 55 and then if you put in the calculator, you will get the exact answer. So I'll just show you over here. All you do is instead of 30, sorry, 35 is done. Instead of 90, you must put 55 degrees and you can see it's 33 seconds. So the final answer will be 33 seconds, 33 seconds remaining to reach 90 degrees. So that's how we can easily solve it up. Please do practice all these problems in writing by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.